Alright guys, to celebrate my revived love for retro gaming, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So I've put on my Sonic pants and I'm sitting on the floor for authenticity. Time to pop the game in. Yeah, this is Star Wing. Believe it or not, I haven't played this game since... God knows when, I must have been under 10 at the time. So this is my, actually my first time playing it since then. And I'm pretty pissed poor at it, I've got to say. I wasn't that great at it back then. Obviously, I played Lilac Wars a hell of a lot, but this, I've only had one or two goes on it. I've actually had the game for quite some time, but I just haven't played it. But now I'm back into the whole retro scene. I'm, I'm giving it another shot. I do apologize for the massive TV scan lines or whatever the hell they're called that you're getting at the moment but I haven't figured out how to get the snares on 60 hertz yet I think you have to get a switch box or mod the console and I'm just not prepared to do that yet I kind of like the lines anyway it it gives it that proper feel well if you ignore how fucked up your eyes go after staring at it for a while so yeah um, Twitch twiddling thumbs, I think I'm going to call this series of videos. Um, I figure every time I play a new retro game, I'll just make a video, share my experience with you. I'm going to try to make these not as raw as my other videos usually are, try and polish them a bit. But a polished turd is still a turd after all, so expect a lot of dribbling from my behalf. At the end of the day, I am such a scatterbrain and I can never remember what I'm saying mid-sentence. I love the graphics in this game. They <laughs> just... At the time, they were fucking fantastic. They were... Awesome, but now, it's just, they're so abstract, it's unbelievable. The music in this game is fucking fantastic, though. It's kind of relieving to play a console that isn't online again. There's so much added stress to when you're playing a console online. If you're notified of every person that comes online, I know you can turn those off, but there's a bit of you that wants to know. <laughs> you just feel like you're in constant competition. It's just nice to chill out on the floor and play games how they were intended to play again. I kind of see this as going back to my roots right now. Well, if I was going back to my roots, I'd be playing Sega, but that's not the point. The sound effects on this are just awesome as well. Just pew! Pew, pew, pew! Pow! Is this what you'd expect to hear from a video game? Proper video game, not, oh, let's make it as realistic as possible. You should probably see this video as an intro to the series rather than episode one. I know I've probably called it episode one, but it really is just an introduction because I don't actually have that much to say. I haven't forced it out. I really should have. I think I've said that already. Pew. Sorry for the huge gaps. I'm trying to think of stuff to say. This is the first episode and I've done it without putting a lot of thought into it like usual. But I'm sure you don't mind. My voice must grate on you at some point. See it as a blessing. An escape from my voice, if you will. I swear... Well, I used to swear that Star Fox, or something along the lines of Star Fox, used to have a cartoon back in the day. I, mean, I know it doesn't now, I've researched it tons, but... There was a cartoon back in the day that I used to watch, and I, for some reason I always got it mistaken with Star Fox. I'm not sure what the hell it was. I even had figures from the series, but I just can't remember what series it was. It really frustrates me, even to this day. Obviously, it wasn't Star Fox, so. but it just... In my early teens, I'm convinced, I was convinced that it was Star Fox, and I always used to talk to my mates about it, and they were like, you're crazy, there was never a Star Fox cartoon. I don't know, maybe I dreamt the whole thing. 
This boss fight is a fucking bitch. I've got to admit, I do prefer Lilac Wars, but for its time, this game is ahead of itself. It's good fun, it's, it's a good escape. It's simple, mind-numbing, you don't really have to concentrate that bad. Well, I'm sure you do if you go in for all the rings and a perfect score, but I, I just wanted to chill. Do any of you guys know how to get the snares in 60 hertz? Is there a simpler way around it without opening the thing up? I, I just don't want to risk breaking it, to be honest. If I had a second snares, I'd, I'd happily open it up and mod it to hell, but I don't, and I'm not willing to fork out to buy another one at this point. of a fight but yeah I'm only gonna do one level per video I think just gonna try and keep the video short that's it from me let me know what you think about this the idea for the series cheers guys enjoy